everyone, how's it going? It's Nady, and today we're trying random sh** from Timu so you don't have to. As you beautiful people know, any tiff you may have, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh, my little honeydew smoothies, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself am doing wonderful. We're preparing for a hurricane, so I'm going in and outside. And I didn't want to try a makeup because there is no way it could withstand this heat. So we're going to try shit from Timu instead. I will admit, Timu is taking the world by storm and not necessarily for the best reason. I just saw something where they were fucking with people's credit cards and bank accounts. It is no secret that brands like Timu probably use slave labor. Otherwise, how in the fuck would things be so cheap? But it's not just them that's the problem. Like, really, any fast fashion or anything where anything is inexpensive, they all come from the same factory. No matter how many times I say, no, don't buy this shit, people will still buy it. So, when it comes to my Timu reviews, I try to order the things that are really popular from them, and I can let you know if it's actually garbage or not, because if my review stops a hundred people from buying something that's just gonna end up in the trash, then I am happy to donate my money for that. And with doing these reviews, I have ordered... <sighs> there is cat hair on my nose. I have ordered quite a few items from Timu, and I will admit some of it honestly has been garbage. Not that it's shitty or anything, but like I bought a cat backpack because I want to take Mia out to explore the world. And the bitch was too fucking fat for it. Like her fur was just coming out of the breathing holes and there is a very slim chance that she's ever going to lose that weight. Like she is just a girthy girl. She got big bones. And it's just this big hunk of clear plastic and I'm like, what in the hell am I going to do with this now? Like throw it out? But we did end up finding it a good home for someone with a more average weighted cat. But it would have been so easy easy for anyone to just throw it away. And not only is that a waste of money, but think of the damage that you're doing to the environment. That plastic's gonna sit there for 10,000 years, and all the transportation and fumes it took to get from China to here. So yeah, I just want to take, like, the top Timu items and let you know if they actually are worth it before purchasing it and just chucking it. We just have to be nicer to this planet, to people, to just everything. And it starts with this review, damn it. But everything that we did order, I actually did want. Like, I didn't just order it just to order it. Well, that's not true. Two of the items I'm probably never going to use, but you'll see why. And what are those items in question? Well, condoms. Which we will save till the very, very end because they might be a little bit messy. <laughs> so let's just dive right into this. I went based upon what was recommended to me that Timu said was just on fire right now. But please, if there is anything on there that you would like me to try before you buy, let me know. I would love to do polls to see what everyone is interested in. Because again, if my one purchase stops a bunch of people from buying this piece of shit, then I have done my job. So first, we're going to dive right into a product that I've actually been testing all week. This was, I think, $11. Let's see, where can I shoot this? Ah, ooh, yes. It's like the first morning pee. But this is a, what do we call this? A water pick. I've had these before and they were so expensive, like 50 to 60 bucks. And they honestly were a little bit more fancier than this, but this has been so freaking good. It came with like six different heads. And Lil Mama is no joke, like she actually squirts. Oh my gosh, it's like a little utter, uh -huh. Oh, my poor blinds. For under $12, you can't fucking beat it. I do also want to say a lot of people comment and ask what the links to these products are. And oftentimes by the time this review is up, the links are gone. But the same product is all over Timu. So this is what it looks like like, but I really do recommend this. It's super easy to fill. Oh my gosh, it just squirted. <laughs> it's nice, and having already invested probably hundreds of dollars into other water picks, this is a nice, refreshing money break for me. And it's rechargeable. It has a little butt flap right there, so you don't have to fuck with batteries. I don't know that I'll end up ever recommending much from Timu, but if you were to get anything, this is definitely it. Then we got a testicle massager. Mm -hmm. No, I had actually been seeing these all over Amazon and my Instagram store for like $50. And it is a side of the neck massager. You could probably massage literally anything you wanted with it. This is a really nice neck massager. I think I got this for under $5. I want to say like $3.50. Like it certainly is not super durable like the ones up Amazon or anywhere else probably were. But bitch, it fucking does the trick. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is nice. Just put that right over your arteries. I do have really bad tension right there in my neck where my skull meets my vertebrae. And it seems like nothing really helps but this does. And for the price, I am actually really impressed. Like, these turn, they move. This is not fancy. It doesn't feel like you'd be able to leave it in your car without it melting like candle wax. Ooh, 
Ooh, I haven't tried it like this. Oh, but still, baby, if you need a good little neck massager, this is great. I guarantee you the more expensive ones you're going to find are probably from this factory or the factory next door. Do I wish this were made out of, like, bamboo or something and not complete and total plastic? Absolutely. Like, I would have paid more for that. So I think the biggest downfall is that it's plastic, but look at all these ends that you could use for multifunctional purposes. Places this could go. Look, I'm a K-pop star. It's cheap and it's flexible. It's basically me in massager form. Moving on, we have a product that I always see on Timu. Oh, baby, I saved up my pennies for some Apple AirPod Pros. They are fucking amazing. They really help with my music. They cancel out sounds. They were just great until I put them through the wash. So I bought another pair of Poshmark because I had some credit and they turned out to be fake. Look how freaking good these fakes are. They have the Apple logo. They even had the serial number on each AirPod and the serial number was a serial number on the Apple website. But having just had a pair of these, I know how they're supposed to sound and feel and they do not feel like the real deal. Oh, wait. I never noticed, but this little top cap is kind of fucked up. Yeah, that wouldn't happen on the real thing. So I saw this exact same thing on Timu for, I think, under $5 again. And I was like, we have to compare because what if they just bought them off Timu, stamped a little serial number on them, and then shipped them off? Talk about dishonesty, but ingenious. But the version we got from Timu was a little bit different. This is how it arrived, like a fucking Easter basket. And it doesn't have the weight that the real AirPods have. Let's open this up, though. I mean, that looks almost the exact same. Let's unwrap this like an ice cream bar. The Timu one does not have the engraving in it, and it does feel really light, but the top is coming off just like the fake Poshmark ones. Other than a few case updates and the weight, there's really no difference. Actually, no. When you click the back light, it should turn on right there, and it's just like floating around in the center there. Do you see the difference? Timu, Poshmark. And unfortunately, both are still garbage. They are not the same. The Poshmark one does look a lot more updated and fancier, but if I didn't know what these were supposed to look and feel like, I would not know this wasn't the real thing. Let me see how they both sound. No noise cancellation, which I need especially during the holidays. Oh, this is connected to something. Why is this connected to my phone? Yeah, this Poshmark one is just shite. And I'm trying to connect these little babies to my phone, but they're just not having it. Yeah, these won't even show up in my Bluetooth. Okay, honey, I'm just gonna call this shit right now. These are gonna take up space in a landfill. As if it needed said, don't buy fake ass AirPods off of Timu. They are garbage. If you need inexpensive headphones, that's one thing, but truthfully get them from the store. Other than how these look, I don't really see a point in them. They just feel cheap. They are cheap. They won't function worth a shit. They don't even connect to my phone. You are just buying this hunk of plastic. That is a fuck to the no, baby. Also, I am happy that Poshmark does have good customer service because I paid almost 200, maybe more than 200 for these. And now they're both going in the garbage. Like, what a fucking waste. Now the Poshmark ones won't even work. Oh, balls. Moving down the line, I'm kind of fucking stoked for this next product because I've seen it advertised for years. I remember seeing it on As Seen on TV and going like, I wonder if that shit works. And today we're going to finally see if it does. That is a crystal hair remover. You see on the little before and after, see they have a hurry little leg and then a smooth little leg after. But these are a little bit scary. I know you do have to soak whatever you're going to be shaving. So I think we'll try maybe just my hand or something. Oh, this is not how I thought it would look like. thought it was going to be rough and tough like something you'd sand your feet with. Which I guess you can do that too, but you are supposed to soak whatever you're shaving in warm water and then just rub it around. You can't go too many times because I think it'll start taking your skin off. That's pleasant. Afterwards, you're supposed to use lotion and use once every two weeks. Also, don't use it on the face or the underarms. I feel like I would most likely want to use it under there. I mean, maybe I wouldn't, but most people? It's kind of like a meshy material, almost like a bunch of razors crossed. It kind of feels like one of those holographic papers where one way it looks like Batman and then the other way it's Batman fucking the Joker. Okay, I'm gonna go soak my hands and my fingers. And let's start right there on my hand. I don't mind if that's bald. So we just start rubbing. Not the most comfortable thing ever. It doesn't feel like my skin's gonna be cut open, but it kind of feels like a pumice stone. Am I going the right way? Yeah, it doesn't really say. I guess this part is glass, so that's cool. Let's just keep rubbing this. <gasps> Oh my gosh, bitch, it's fucking working. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so like right there, I'm actually missing hair. Mother of fuck. It is also taking off like the top layers of my skin, but this is kind of a nice exfoliant. How is it doing that? Oh my gosh, I just inhaled my own skin. Now I can actually say I'm full of myself. I don't know 
that I would ever want to do this on like an entire limb because it is really eating away my skin. I get why they want you to put lotion on that, but you might also have to put gauze on too. I just have to keep trying this. It is a little bit of a pain in the ass though because there's always like one little hair that you have to get and then you're just grinding your skin down. Maybe I'm just a dry flaky fuck, but it stopped getting the hair and now it just looks like there's sawdust all over my hands. <sighs> but it 1000% did take the hair off all right there and it's baby smooth. Hold on, we're gonna try it here. Oh my gosh! I didn't soak up there and I think it's actually working better. Holy butt fuck, Robin. That is crazy. I'm not gonna sit here and recommend this because it is a bit of a pain in the pee hole, but it absolutely does work. But does it leave your skin raw? Yeah, but it's also so smooth and hairless. I thought out of everything, this would be the biggest fucking flop. But I've always wondered, and now we know they actually work. Oh my gosh, my arm kind of burns now. I'm just gonna put a little bit of eye cream right there, get some good moisturizing happening, because it is kind of turning red and a little bit splotchy and just very uncomfortable. Moving on down, we have a couple more items. We have a TENS massager, which sends like electrical pulses to your muscles so it stimulates it. But we also got some bling. I always see jewelry advertised on Timu, and it looks so sexy on the models, but you have to wonder if it actually looks like that. And so I got, I think this is an ear crawler. I don't remember ordering this, but I guess I did. And this actually isn't really even an earring. It's just a placer thingy. What is that? Oh, but that's actually really cute. And fuck, a monkey could swing from that. I really like this. That is kind of adorable, isn't it? I really need to wear more dangly earrings. I don't think there were really any high ticket items in my purchase. So this was definitely under a dollar or two. I would be very surprised if I spent more than a dollar fifty on this or even a dollar shit. But in addition, to supporting good local independent handcrafted jewelers. I might also have to stickity stock up on this shit. I have to try it on the other side. Like shit, I could have worn this to Beyonce. Fuck man, I like it. This is kind of a dangerous path we've opened. And before we finish up with our condoms, let's go ahead and try this mini massager. I did open this just to see if I could try it and I didn't even get it to work. But I do also have like a muscle stimulator TENS unit and fuck a duck, they freaking work. So I'm curious about this. It actually does look similar to my more expensive unit. And I don't know, should we try this on the bicep and arm? It said a massager, but oh gosh, these are not sticky at all. Oh, probably because I just put lotion there. We're just gonna slightly moisten these pads back up, get them sticky again, shake it off like a poodle in a storm, and let's try it over here. Nope, it is just not sticking anywhere. Well, I can try to hold it just to see if it even works. Oh, do you see this? I can't even get it all in camera. Do you see my hand moving? It is not me moving that, it is this. Oh my gosh, it's literally making my hand go like that. This is gonna be handy later. That's only on the first setting too. Hold on, I'm gonna stick it to my thigh. Ooh. Oh, my whole thigh is pulsating. It's just like that. Okay, once again, I'm not gonna recommend one of these because you could literally kill yourself by putting this in the wrong spot, AKA the chest or the jugular. But it actually works and I go to physical therapy and they put these on my backs and like, you pay a lot of money for that. And this is literally all it is that they put on my back just in a much cheaper form. But the same result, that is just wild. I wanna say this was maybe three or four dollars. I have to try it to the other thigh. <laughs> Where else we could put it? Oh my gosh, and this actually has different settings. What the fuck, there's a slap setting. I know a couple people I could do that too. Okay, we're gonna try slapping. Oh, oh! That's not me doing that. This is literally like slapping a hoe. Oh, how cool, let's do the, ah! Oh, fuck, that one hurt. Oh wait, no, let's do massage. Oh, oh, huh. That is just wild. All right, okay, we are done with that. I'm gonna save you for later. How fun. Well, my queens, I am finally about to bust open what we're probably all here for, and that is some condoms. These are double one zero zero three, as well as M. Dior Natural Rubber Latex Condoms. Can you show condoms on YouTube? I feel like we can. I will be the first to say, don't fucking use a condom on Timu. I know these probably come from the same factory as literally anything you'd get at the gas station for 
that one night stand. But something about a Timu condom just doesn't sit well with me. For some reason, I just feel like these are gonna have holes poked in them. They probably are fine though. I don't know why I think that. How many are in this? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. So you do get quite a lot. Okay, so the 003, you get 12 pieces for $3.98. For the MDR, you get 10 pieces for $2.78. Not bad. Hopefully the condoms are easier to open than these boxes. Total boner killer. I actually like that they come in little two packs. You could just plop this in your purse or your wallet or your front pocket. They do seem legit. Like they have the expiration date on them, the lot number, all of that goodness. Are you supposed to store condoms in the fridge? I don't know, but let's tear one off and blow it up. And I think I also want to put water in these too, just to see if there are any holes. But here we go, baby. Oh, ooh, yes. Ew. Also, what the fuck is life? I'm literally reviewing condoms in my job. Okay, so it does have a nice phlegmy color to it. Yeah, that doesn't smell good. It smells like gasoline. Oh, it's like walking into Party City. Like that latex rubber smell, which this is a latex condom. Okay. How do you get it unrolled? Okay. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Oh, it's taking my lip gloss off. Well, I don't think you would ever have to expand it like that. If you did, honey, you'd be famous. Let me tie this and throw it off the balcony. Hold on. So here's Miss Dior. It just looks like a watermelon booby. And I probably could have blown this up a lot more, but I don't hear any air escaping. And it actually does have really nice flexibility, which sounds weird, but it's different than a balloon, you know? Like it's not all stretched out like a balloony is. It just goes back to its normal shape. Oh, I just had to. Oh, wait, there is definitely air coming out the end. Oh, wait, we do actually have a hole. It's right there. I don't know if you'll even be able to see it, but I can feel stuff coming out. It is actually a pretty big hole. Oh, wait, I know. I'll show you with my phone. Do you see that gaping hole right there? Like, what the fuck? That could be somebody's future right there. Granted, you probably aren't going to be blowing your condom up before you put it on. I've blown up so many condoms in my life. And Okay, there is lube and spit all over me. Honestly, nothing is new. So that was Miss Dior, which we can see probably isn't the most durable. Let's try this double one one. And on the back, it says, follow your heart. And I can't tell if that's a joke because most people say, follow your heart, not your head. Maybe they're just giving you one last warning. Like, don't do it, honey. But here, let's open this one. It looks the same kind of mucusy color. The tip is a little bit deformed. This one is a lot more greasy and it doesn't feel like lube. It just feels like Vaseline and it smells like Halloween City again. Come the hell on, <laughs> literally. All right, that is super thin. Here we go, baby. <laughs> This one doesn't seem to be as stretchy as the other one. Like, I cannot blow this up anymore. But as I was saying before, I've blown up a lot of condoms as balloons, you know? And I have never, ever had one pop. You could use these for fucking hot air balloons. So I just find it a little bit odd that our first one happened to have a hole. But, like, you should be able to do this to a condom, shouldn't you? Like, what if you're rough? Or what if you were born with a whale penis? So far, though, I will say I definitely like this brand. Wait, I feel air again. Maybe I don't. What the hell? There's no holes in it. It just has a better feeling to it, but really, don't fucking get condoms from Timu. My god, I'd recommend a Ziploc before this. I don't recommend these, but one of the brands definitely did work in that it didn't have a hole in it. But this was a 12-pack, so maybe we just got lucky. I am gonna set this to the side and go fill one with water. I think I want to try another Miss Dior. Ooh. Oh, it's like an adult water balloon. Let's see how much we can fill it. Sorry, my sink is dirty. I just did the dishes. I cannot believe how much water this is holding. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, it's just getting bigger and bigger. It's like my bladder after a 7-Eleven Big Gulp. Like, this is an absolute waste of water. I'm so sorry, but it's also letting me know if there are other holes in this. Okay, I have to stop this. I could have still put so much water in this, but look at how much is in there. And I'm just gonna let it sit here and see if it starts leaking. Ooh, oh, that's fun. Oh my goodness. Well, I went to go lift it up and it exploded all over me. I'm just soaking wet. And this is what we're left with. Granted, I put probably well over a gallon into this little thing. I'm really impressed, but also I've done that with other condoms and they didn't burst. So these Miss Dior ones do not fucking trust. Might as well just put hairspray on your junk and call it good. Because these are pretty much just as thin. Yeah, it's a no. But my 
loves, there we go. You know, my arm is actually pretty smooth now. The redness went down. My hand is smooth. I am gonna try the fuck out of that little shaver thingy. But yeah, was there anything that I tried today that you were curious about? Other than the condoms, of course. I think I'm probably most impressed with that little massager thing that makes your arm go like this. That is just cool shit, man. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. I love having you. And if you want just a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplex. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon only content. You get a Patreon only store. And best part, it's cheap, fun, and fancy, just like me. And don't forget, my latest Repop collection is available at repopcosmetics.com. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official Nady, And you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.